This is positive news. They're still concerned, though, about people transmitting COVID-19. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprecher live at the Air Force Airport for us tonight. And Steve, how are people feeling this weekend? Well, you got to ask the question, why am I wearing a mask, Russ? The reason, very simple, because this airport and all others around the country still have a mask mandate in place, as do all airlines. And the question we wanted to know is, with the airports and the aircraft so crowded, how do people feel about their safety flying this holiday weekend? Everywhere you look at RDU, people are wearing masks and following the airport mandate. But some flyers found there was resistance once people boarded the aircraft. There were a few people who kind of fought the flight attendants on a few of my flights, but the, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but the flight attendants handled it very professionally and they kind of just reinforced the idea that it is a federal law at the moment and that it's still important even with vaccinations being rolled out. For Sharon Freeman and her eight and six year old grandkids, the rules made her flight less stressful. Well, we stayed masked up and we kept our hands sanitized and we social distanced as much as we could. So. I felt pretty safe. The mask mandates aren't just at RDU. In every single airport I've been to, masks are very, very mandated, and um, people are always controlling kind of if you have a mask on or if you don't. Many found their aircraft at full capacity. With vaccine levels yet to come close to herd immunity, the mask mandates add a measure of personal comfort. How safe did you feel on the airplane uh, flying because of the pandemic? Yeah, um, pretty safe. They were very strict on um, wearing the mask the entire time, so I felt pretty safe. Meanwhile, some in Congress are saying they think the mask mandate for flying ought to be scrapped, but the CDC is still resisting that right now. Reporting live, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.